after completing his studies in Madrid, Rizal went to Paris and Germany in order to specialize in ophthalmology. He particularly chose this branch of medicine because he wanted to cure his mother's eye ailment. He was then 24 years old. In Berlin, Jose met and befriended several top German scientists, Dr. Fyodor Jogor, Dr. Adolf B. Meyer, and Dr. Rudolf Virchow. In Gay Paris When he was in Paris, he met his friend named Maximo Viola. He was a medical student and a member of a rich family of San Miguel Bulacan. Meanwhile, Senor Eusebio Corominas, he was an editor of the newspaper La Publicidad and who made a crying sketch of Don Miguel Moraita. And Don Miguel Moraita was the owner of La Publicidad and a statesman. On November 1885, Rizal was living in Paris where he sojourned for about four months. Jose worked as an assistant from November 1885 to February 1886 to Dr. Louis de Weckert, 1852-1906. He was a leading French ophthalmologist. On January 1, 1886, Rizal wrote a letter for his mother to reveal that he was rapidly improved his knowledge in ophthalmology. Rizal as a musician Rizal had no natural aptitude for music, and this he admitted. He studied music only because many of his schoolmates at Ateneo were taking music lessons. On November 27, 1878, Rizal wrote a letter to Enrique Litt saying that he learned solfeggio, the piano, and voice culture in one month and a half. He was a flutist in various impromptu reunions of Filipinos in Paris. Some of his compositions are Alin Mang Lahi or Any Race, a patriotic song which asserts that any race aspires for freedom, and La Deportacion or Deportation, a sad danza, composed in the Pitan during his exile. Background Info Luna, 1857-1899, and Hidalgo, 1855-1913, are the first Filipino painters to gain international recognition when they won the top prizes at the National Exposition of Fine Arts in Madrid in 1884. Trinidad Herminigildo Jose Maria Juan Francisco Pardo de Tavera y Goricho was a Filipino physician, historian, and politician of Spanish and Portuguese descent. Trinidad, also known by his name T.H. Pardo de Tavera, was known for his writings about different aspects of Philippine culture. Nelly Boasted, also called Nelly, was the younger of the two pretty daughters of the wealthy businessman Eduardo Boasted, son of a rich British trader who went to the Orient in 1826. The Boasteds hosted Rizal's stay in Biarritz in February 1891 at their winter residence Villa Eliada on the Super French Riviera. Juan Luna, the great master of brush, and Rizal helped him by posing as model in several paintings. First is The Death of Cleopatra, where he posed as an Egyptian priest, and second is The Blood Compact, where he posed as Sicatuna, with Trinidad Pardo de Tavera taking the role of Legaspi. Rizal shared a deep friendship with painter Juan Luna and often agreed to pose for Luna's paintings as in The Death of Cleopatra. In Excelsis, the mission of Jose Rizal, humanist and Philippine national hero by Feliz Prodenta Santa Maria. In the foreground is Rizal as Egyptian scribe, recording the event for posterity. Behind him are Trinidad Pardo de Tavera as Octavio Cesar and Felix Pardo de Tavera as Dola Bella, missing our chairman and the eras. In Historic Heidel Bridge On February 1, 1886, Jose left Gay Paris for Germany and he arrived on February 3, 1886 in Heidel Bridge, a historic city in Germany famous for its old university and romantic surroundings. While he was staying there, Jose was a good chess player so that his German friend made him a member of the chess players club. 
He became popular among German students because he joined them in their chess games and beer drinking and watched their friendly saber jewels. He worked at the University of Heidelberg under the director of Dr. Otto Becker, German ophthalmologist. To the flowers of Heidelberg, spring of 1886, he was fascinated by the blooming flowers along the cool banks of the Neckar River. The light blue forget-me-not was his favorite flower and for that reason, on April 22, 1886, he wrote a fine poem, Alas Flores de Heidelberg or To the Flowers of Heidelberg with Pastor Ulmer at Wilhelmsfeld. Wilhelmsfeld is the place where Rizal spent a three-month summer vacation. He met Protestant pastor Dr. Carl Ulmer, where Rizal stay at the vicarage of their house and who become his good friend and admirer. On June 25, 1886, he ended his sojourn and felt the pace of sadness. On July 31, 1886, Rizal wrote his first letter Letter in German to Blumentritt. With the latter result sent the book entitled Arithmetica and was published in two languages, Spanish and Tagalog. Rizal impressed Blumentritt because of his letter and they become friends. Blumentritt, the Austrian, became the best friend of Rizal, the Filipino. Background info. Blumentritt became one of Rizal's closest confidants although they met only once. He translated a chapter of the latter's first book, Noli Metanghere, into German and wrote the preface to Rizal's second book, Alphabusterismo, although he was against its publication as he believed that it would lead to Rizal's death. Fifth Centenary of Heidelberg University Rizal was fortunate to be sojourning at University Heidelberg. This is fifth centenary of Heidelberg University. The following entry on his diary dated August 6, 1886 describes the celebration of the fifth centenary of the famous University of Heidelberg. And on August 9, 1886, Rizal left Heidelberg. In Leipzig and Dresden, on August 14, 1886, he arrived in Leipzig. In Leipzig, Rizal translated Schiller's William Tell from German into Tagalog. He also translated fairy tales of Hans Christian Andersen. He stayed about two and a half months in Leipzig. On October 29, 1886, he left Leipzig for Dresden where he met Dr. Mayer. Background Info Dr. Adolf B. Meyer, Director of the Anthropological and Ethnological Museum. Rizal's life in Berlin. There are five reasons why Rizal lived in Germany. First, gain further knowledge of ophthalmology. Second, further his studies of sciences and languages. Third, observe the economic and political conditions of the German nation. Fourth, associate with famous German scientists and scholars. And the last, publish his novel, Nolimetanghere. Madame Lucy Serdale, French professor, she became Hosse's professor in Berlin. He took private lessons in French in order to master the idiomatic intricacies of the French language. Rizal on German Woman On March 11, 1886, Rizal wrote a letter addressed to his sister, Trinidad, expressing his high regard and admiration for German womanhood. He described German women as serious, diligent, educated, and friendly, while for Spanish women, he described them gossipy, frivolous, and quarrelsome. German Customs Rizal observed that Germans are self-introduced to strangers in social gathering. Rizal wrote on Christmas Eve, the people from the bushes, a pine tree, selecting one which must not only be straight. Rizal's Darkest Winter On winter of 1886, Rizal experienced his darkest winter in Berlin because during that winter, he lived in poverty because there is no money arrived from Columba and he was flat broke. In far away Columba, Pashana tried desperately to raise money. He knew his younger brother is in a dire financial situation in Berlin. Meanwhile, Rizal starved in Berlin and shivered with wintry cold. 
those are the events that happened to Rizal's life. Although he suffered from hindrances, but still he got his achievements later on. And the most special thing is that he acquired the knowledge on how to cure his mother's eye illness.